This is the best Road to Boruto Sasuke player and Chunin Exam Sarada player that I have ever played against or even seen in Naruto Storm 4. And his name is Dexter's Mage, but I call him Dex. Now, we're going to actually have three different fights here against Dex's Sasuke and Sarada versus my Pain and then Conan. The first one is Pain and Sai, but then I switch it up. In my opinion, this is the second best Naruto Storm 4 player I've ever fought in my entire time of pl playing Storm 4, and he's the best with these two characters. These fights happened a long time ago before Naruto Storm Connections came out, and I've been saving them for a special occasion. I finally wanted to show this with you guys because I really, really uh, enjoyed the, all three of these matches. I hope you watch all three. It's a short video. Make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. And let me know what you think. I much prefer this Sarada, and I think it's a much more skill-based Sarada. So I love that he uses her. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and let's see what happens here. Uh, this is probably something you've never seen me do before, which is Pain and Sai. I will switch to Pain and Conan, but we're going to get in there. So something really interesting here is I have no Chakra. So something I notice when I play him is I often get lower chakra than he does. So it's really interesting. I messed up there. Man, I have not played this game in so long. And um, I still haven't played the game. This is just old footage, right? All right, really good card guard pressure. He has awesome guard pressure with this Chunin Exam Sarada. Look at my guard being red. Really good mix-ups and guard pressure. I love it, man. Went from... Guard pressure to guard break to making sure that I have less and less chakra to use. And I end up being very stationary or standing still here. But at least I got some chakra shuriken into side tilt and switched back into a pain into a pain tilt. I had a miss counter there where he baited out my counter. He played really, really well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm just very stationary here. I'm going to have to adapt in the second and third match because even though I have the health lead, he has a substitution lead. And he's winning there, right? So, did you see that? I went for a Shinro Tensei, and he perfectly timed that Sarada tilt to cancel my Shinro Tensei. That is one of the most skilled and most amazing things I've ever seen in this game. But then I actually t um, I countered his tilt. And let's see what happens here, though. This is interesting. All right. So, very cool switch tech there to create some distance to gather Chakra. An amazing grab by him. He caught me on those landing frames, and man, it's just a very, it doesn't, it may not seem like it, but it's a very high level match, right? Extremely patient and high level matches. In my opinion, this is the second best Naruto Storm 4 player I've ever fought in my entire time of play, playing Storm 4, and he's the best with these two characters. So, in connections, there's another player that's, I think, even better with that character, at least for connections, and I don't want to ruin the surprise. But this is, you know, got to give the respect or respect is due. So I wanted to show this and how awesome that is. Did you see that setup? The Sada to tilt into the Infernal Fireball, uh, camera manipulation, tension manipulation. Just, this is just the wrong team to fight him with because he has close range pressure with that Sada. He has mid range and long range with the, the Sasuke. So he's he's just really has a really cool high team synergy team there. And I either just don't know my team well enough or my team just is not a good match for him. And he just easily beat me and outplayed me. No leg, nothing like that. But I'm going to come back, guys. Two more fights. Will he win the best of three or will I? And how will he do against my Pain and Conan? This was a revolution team of mine, a main team in my R Hunger Games series or in my rank series in revolution. And... Uh, we're going to definitely come with the smoke, guys. We're going to up the ante, increase the skill level, and bring some more skills to the table. But that being said, I'm still losing, actually, which is crazy, but it is what it is. He's a very difficult player to play when he was in his prime before Connections came out in 2023, at the end of 2023. And yeah, I'm standing still there a little bit, but here you see I'm starting that fearless Taijutsu. I'm starting to use more Tassa Towering Strategic Assault, but he had a perfect counter on that combo Shinra Tensei. Perfect dash stop on a dime into a grab. Gave me time to think, so I'm okay with it because grabs don't do that much damage in this game. And right here, man, it's crazy to see how much I'm actually pinned down. All right, I'm getting that chakra back. Let's see what we can do here. Yes, a little Storm 2 tech just... 
dash, get contact, open that guard, and hit him with a jitsu. Get confirmed damage, right? Just get some confirmed damage. Actually getting a double dash in there, very cool. Some nice juggling there with a Shinra Tensei combo and then some other combos. And getting that chakra back, what's it going to be? Ooh, he caught me mashing, and that was a good answer to my mash. Getting that ultimate jitsu out there. But very nice. And this is such an unfortunate thing. I'm not sure what happened here, guys. I don't know if that's subbable or not subbable or if the game online just makes it unsubbable sometimes because you maybe it might miss an input. It's very possible that the game ate an input and he could not sub. I don't know what happened. But here it is, guys. We get to see one of the best and most amazing ultimate jitsus in the game. The team ultimate jitsu of God and Angel. One of the best and coolest teams to play in any Naruto Storm game. And you can play this team from Storm 2 all the way to Connections. And it works. It works in every single game. It may not be the best team, but man, it can do the job. It can do the job most of the time. Alright, so here we got a lot. We're just kind of walking around, doing a little grab glitch there. More grab glitches. You know, just seeing what's going on, and we end the fight. One, one. He ha he won the first one, I won the second one. Let's see how the third one ends. We're really warming up here. I think this is the best fight, so make sure to watch this entire fight and let me know what you think of these fights. Very cool, man. Definitely one of my favorite players to ever fight, especially in Storm 4, and it's too bad that I haven't had a chance to fight him in connections except for one time, one or two times. So hopefully we'll fight in the future. All right, very nice. Canceling that ultimate jitsu and countering me. And he, hey, the the boundary there. Wow. He actually has got me pinned here against the boundary. The wall physics are absolute, guys. Remember. Little tempo changes. Trying to bait him. Generate negative space. And what's going to be? Getting those dogs out with that long range guard pressure. Now I'm putting him back in the corner. Now he put me back in the corner. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, he got that pill. Very nice guard pressure. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I'm defending like my life depends on it. Wow, I actually countered him here. And the Jitsu buffer, Jitsu layer. Let's get it. We are both we're both playing on the uh the near the wall physics around the boundaries a lot. There he goes back to the wall. You know, that's crazy. And then he actually rolls defensively, like survive just for survivability, rolled away from that boundary, and we're back to the middle again. And a lot just happened there. A lot of crazy things happened. Nice little charge dash, mix it up, see what he does. And he did his setup again, but this time because I jumped back, he got me just out of the effective range of that infernal fireball. What's it going to be here? Very, very close. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Red guard. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. I think I bought enough time for the subs to come back. One sub came back and we used it. Now what's it going to be? Oh man, he's getting his combo time in. He's getting his combo time in. 34 seconds left. I'm in trouble. I'm actually getting bodied here. Beautiful combo by him. And I almost have a sub back. Wow, okay. I know he likes to double dash sometimes, so I was trying to defend against that. And that's my Achilles heel. I love to jump chakra dash, and it's punishable all the time. It's like the worst thing to do in this game, but it's what you used to do in the past games, and I can't seem to get that out of my DNA. So it's my Achilles heel, right? It's the thing that if you wanted to beat me, you could beat me with that. Or could you? Let's see what happens. Awesome. So we actually just played very patiently, changed the tempo up a little bit, played steady, and we got the up combo finish. GG's to Dex, and thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best to you. Take care.